and the blessings that the monks give. A lot of times they talk about, may you be wealthy, may you be happy, may you be beautiful, may you have a long life. And it's good to think about what that means for a practitioner. As the Buddha said, your wealth as a practitioner is your goodwill, goodwill for all beings. And how is that wealth? Because on the one hand, as long as you stay with good intentions to all, all the beings, it's very unlikely that you're going to do anything that's going to harm them. And if your actions inadvertently do cause harm, you can look back on your intentions and say, well, there was no ill will there. So you don't have to go into denial. And that way you can learn lessons from your mistakes. There's not a lot of regret. The kind of regret that you have to hide from yourself is the regret that comes from having had ill will. And no amount of money can undo that. But if you work with goodwill to begin with, then you don't have to worry about that. So that's a form of wealth. Beauty, the Buddha said, is in your precepts. The fact that your precepts are, are untorn, unbroken, conducive to concentration, and liberating. Now, the fact that they're untorn means that you're scrupulous. You take very good care of your precepts. But the fact that they're liberating and conducive to concentration means that you can wear them with a good conscience. And again, this comes back to goodwill. If you break a precept inadvertently, then it doesn't count as a broken precept. So you hold on to your goodwill as a source both of wealth now and of beauty. As for a long life, the Buddha said that that's related to the four bases of success, your desire to get the mind into concentration, your persistence in doing that, your intentness, and your using your powers of observation and analysis. And as you develop concentration this way, it's a concentration that's strong. That's the strength of your healthy, skillful desires. But then you reflect on what you're doing, and that's how you learn. This is a principle that goes through the Dharma everywhere, from the Buddha's instructions to Rahula, when he told him to look at his actions before, during, and after, all the way to his comment that any Dharma that you want to learn comes from commitment and reflection. So when you think about long life, wealth, beauty, these are the kinds of things you should be thinking about. The long life of your goodness, the wealth of your mind, the beauty of your mind. When you interpret the blessing in that way, that can take you far. Because you think about people have, being beautiful and they have a long life with a hundred years old, you're not beautiful anymore. And wealth, as we all know, external wealth has lots of problems. Once there's wealth, there's going to be thieves, people who are jealous. But that's external wealth. If you have internal wealth, internal beauty, and internal long life, there are no drawbacks at all. That is a genuine blessing.